Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my channel of Orange Creation. Today I will teach you a very special effect that is very highly demand. Uh, some of my uh, fans they want a very special look, 3D look for their text uh, like a bare metal text effect. So this is the result as you can see on the screen and uh, today I will teach you how to get this type of work in Photoshop CC. So let's see how to get this type of work in Photoshop CC. So firstly take your uh, image in the Photoshop CC. Uh, this is my wall uh, that I will use this wall uh, to put the text on there. And uh, this is the image for from which I can create a bare metal uh, material. Uh, material I, I am talking about uh, the 3D 3D material. Uh, we can create uh, 3D material uh, from any other texture in Photoshop. So it is very easy. So this is my wallpaper. I will active this and uh, take your texture. I want like this surface. Now go to this. Uh, text option tools make it large and uh, choose the font that you want okay uh, choose this wallpaper go to image and uh, we have image size I want very less uh, because in rendering I will uh, face a problem if I take very high resolution image okay that's fine uh, it is almost uh, 50% okay uh, we can reduce further also um, cancel it so select both layers uh, then go to 3d or uh, you can right click on there and click on postcard now whenever you click on the postcard the both layers will convert into 3d objects so you can see here a, a box it means uh, this layer is a 3d layer okay now select this bare metal go to 3d option click on environment then uh, click on bare metal then click on there on this tool then we have uh, this setting option then we can create a new material like bare metal uh, I have already made it uh, so in this way you can create a material for your 3d layer now go to layer then uh, select this text layer right click on there uh, I will choose new 3d extrusion from selected layer click on there now this text is converted into a 3d layer okay now uh, if you explore this, uh, then you have this uh, inscription front inflation material, bevel material, extrusion, and all these materials you will get uh, if you explore this. Uh, now select this and hold the shift key and select all layers. Then I will go here material. Then I will choose the material that I have created, bare metal or else. Click on there. Then this text will get the effect of bare metal. Now uh, in 3D layer choose this uh, on extrusion, uh, extrusion material and uh, reflection I want uh, very high about uh, 32 I want uh, that's nice mm. now select this layer uh, this arun uh, layer uh, go on this coordinates then I want 90% movement as well as click on there I want uh, set its extrusion material or extrusion depth very low as you can see here again go to this and uh, I want 90% Go to extrusion material. Okay, that's fine. 
Now select this layer, go to 3D option, then uh, move object to ground plane. Okay, now click on there, make sure it is uh, selected top, then click on secondary view, then you have this. Uh, now we have two layers, uh, this text and uh, this wall, select both layers by pressing Ctrl or select or you can press shift also uh, go to 3d and I will merge both layers merge 3d layers click on there now we have nothing and uh, go to 3d option choose this else because it is not uh, we can see and uh, I will move this object to the front side of this then go to environment then click on there unmark this then we have this black window now you can create a new light source I want a new infinite light click on there we have this infinite light then we can move this whenever you move this then you will get something like this uh, select this layer again then arrows set its position mm, select this infinite light okay I want this direction uh, as well as uh, intensity I want uh, about uh, 150 and shadow I want very smooth so I will put it to around uh, 60 60 percent I want very smooth shadow so go to 3d again and uh, view click on view and we have this now I will set it position so that I can get click on this zoom tool and set its position later later on we can fix this area so firstly we will focus on this part Uh, that's nice uh, now go to edit then preference then 3d menu then I want very high quality rendering so click uh, always put 5 uh, whenever you uh, your final render for your 3d object if you are uh, working and checking and testing the 3d material so it should be 2 so if your final rendering then set it to 5 now click on ok now go to 3d option then click on render now the image is rendering so this is the result after renting the image uh, uh, we can fix it or even we can uh, crop it uh, firstly I will merge all layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e Now this is a final uh, image. Go to essentials firstly. Okay, now go to image, then adjustments, then uh, we have auto tone. Click on there. So this is the final result. Uh, now I I want it to crop. Control set. click on there okay mm, that's fine uh, now I will go to filter then uh, camera raw I will do some changes in that uh, 
uh, firstly I will fill more light and uh, boost little bit of uh, shadows even I want to sharpen it so I want very sharp crisp edges of this text so it should look like uh, metal so that's why I'm increasing the sharpness mm, now clarity I want to control the highlights that's very fine control Z uh, I will try brush uh, highlights I want control because I want a maximum light on the text so that's why I'm applying the brush again fill the light and go to this effect I want vignetting around the image now go to this uh, white balance I want yellow tone something like this that's very fine mm, moreover I want contrast now click on ok now go to filter again then uh, blur then tilt shift now I want blur something like this blur value I want uh, something like 7 or 8 8 uh, it's working better click on ok so this is before and this is after mm. we can do more like this brightness even we can control brightness before and after so see this uh, very nice and beautiful wallpaper 3d text effect i hope you have liked this video and you can subscribe my channel for more updates like this thank you friends keep watching and subscription please share my videos as well as uh, like my page thank you friends keep watching my subscription